So in this session, today we are going to discuss about the concept of number systems. So the concept number system involves all varieties of number systems, HCF, LCM and all the concepts. So see the first question, the standard form of the rational number 60 by minus 315 is. So a rational number is said to be in the standard form, it has to satisfy two conditions. The first one is denominator should be positive. And the second point is the HCF of numerator and denominator is 1. Then we can say that that rational number is in standard form. So in this question, the number is 60 by minus 315. So first make the denominator positive by multiplying by minus 1. Then the problem turns into minus 60 by 315. So the first condition is satisfied. Now the second condition is the HCF of numerator and denominator should be 1. So to make that HCF as 1, you have to cancel or you have to divide both numerator and denominator by their HCF. So if you see the numbers here, the numbers are 60 and 315. So by a regular check, we can check that clearly 15 is the HCF of these two numbers. So using 15 table, we can do the cancellation as 15 fours are 60, 15 twos are 30 and 15 ones are 15. So finally, the rational number is turned into the simplest form that is minus 4 by 21 that is option B is the answer. So in this way, we can convert a rational number into standard form by making the denominator positive and by doing the cancellation by their highest common factor, we can reduce the rational number into standard form. See the next question. Which among the following is non-terminating repeating decimal? So we have a shortcut method to check whether the rational numbers are terminating or not. If the denominators are a combinations of twos, fives or 2 and 5s, then clearly that particular rational numbers are said to be terminating decimals. Other than these numbers, if you find any other number in the denominator, then automatically that becomes non-terminating repeating decimal. Now let us have a look of the given options. So in the given options, observe the denominators. So in the first one, we have a denominator 8, which we can express as 2q. So clearly it has a denominator 2, so it is a terminating decimal. Whereas 25 we can write it as 5 square which have a number 5, so this is also a terminating decimal. Whereas in fourth option we have 40 which we can write it as 5 into 2 cube. 5 eights are 40, 8 I can write it as 2 cube. So the fourth option is a combination of 5s and 2s, so even this is also terminating decimal. But the question is, you have to identify non-terminating repeating decimal. But if you see the option 3, denominator is 14, which we can write it as 2 into 7. So along with 2, there is a combination of 7. So clearly by this rule, we can say that this particular option is a non-terminating repeating decimal. So you can choose answer as option C with the logic. See the next question. If 5 plus 2 root 3 by 7 plus 4 root 3 equals to a plus b root 3, then the value of a plus b. So these numbers can be rationalized. Then only we will get the value of a and b. So rationalizing factor is nothing but you have to rationalize the denominator. Suppose a number is in the form of a plus some b root 3, then its rationalizing factor becomes a minus b root 3. Just you have to take its opposite sign. So according to that logic here, you have to rationalize the denominator to make the denominator in simplest form. So here the denominator is 7 plus 4 root 3. So you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 7 minus 4 root 3. Then as usual, go with the multiplication of fractions as product of numerators by product of denominators. And denominator is in the form of a plus b into a minus b. So which we can write it as a square where a is 7 and b square where b is 4 root 3 whole square. Now multiply the numerators. Here we have a method called FOIL method to multiply a binomial with a binomial. So F stands for first terms, O stands for outer terms, I stands for inner terms and L stands for last terms. 
So using this FOIL method, we can multiply a binomial by a binomial. So according to that, the first terms are nothing but 5 into 7, that is 35. Outer terms means 5 into minus 4 root 3, that is 20 root 3. Inner terms means 2 root 3 into 7, that is plus 14 root 3. And finally, the last terms plus into minus is minus 2 fours are 8 into 3 by 7 square is 49 and 4 root 3 is 4 square is 16, 16 into 3 is 48. So, let us simplify the numerator. So, here 35 minus 8 3s are 24 that gives you 11. Minus 20 root 3 plus 14 root 3 gives you minus 6 root 3 by denominator is 1. Now, it reduced into simplest form equally to the RHS that is A plus B root 3. So, if I compare LHS and RHS, we get A is equals to 11 and B is equals to minus 6. Here, the question is to find A plus B value. So, that is A plus B equals to 11 plus of minus 6 that is nothing but 5. So, the answer is option C. So, wherever you will find such irrational numbers, the only procedure is to rationalize the denominator. Next. The standard rational form of 0 0.45 bar, bar upon 4 and 5. So, such decimals are called non-terminating repeating decimals. Whatever digits are there under the bar, that particular set of digits will repeat infinitely many times. So, there is a traditional method to convert and there is a shortcut method to convert such non-terminating repeating decimals into a rational form. So, the technique is whatever digits are under the bar, write it as numerator. So, here 4 and 5 are under the bar. So, write those two digits as the numerator. How many digits are repeating those many nines? You have to write it in the denominator. As there are two digits are repeating, so or two digits are under the bar. So, those many nines, that means two nines you have to write. So, the simplest form of this particular non-terminating repeating decimal is 45 by 99. But if you observe the options, they converted this rational number into simplest form by doing the cancellations by their HCF. Here, 45 and 99, their HCF is 9. So, using 9 table, if I cancel, 9 5s are 44, 9 11s are 99. So, it's a simplest form is 5 by 11. So, you can choose option C as the answer. The rational number representation of minus 0 0.675. Again, this is a decimal number. Moreover, it is a terminating decimal Why? because it has finite number of decimal digits. So, it is easy to convert that particular decimal number into rational form. So, just ignore the decimal point, write all the non-zero digits as the numerator. So, if I ignore the decimal point, the digits are 0, 6, 7, 5. But as I mentioned, you have to write the non-zero digits. So, followed by the point. So, the non-zero digits are 6, 7, 5. Write it as the numerator. Then, to write the denominator, you have to take 1 followed by as many as zeros as per the decimal digits. As there are 3 decimal digits, so you have to write 3 zeros in the denominator. So, the rational form is 675 by 1000 and sign carries as it is to the answer. But as I mentioned earlier, you have to represent your answer in simplest form. So, if you see here, here the two numbers are ending with 5. So, we can try for a cancellation. So, I am doing cancellation by 25 table. So, if I go with 25 table, 25 2s are 50. Reminder is 175. 25 7s are 175. Reminder is 0. So, here it will get cancelled by 27 times. And also 25 4s and 25 40s are nothing but 1000. So, the final answer is minus 27 by 40 that is option D. Next, the periodicity of 1 by 13 when written in decimal form. So, period and periodicity are the two words which we use for non-terminating recurring decimals. So, by observing the denominator, it is clear that 
a non terminating repeating decimal so first let us try to convert that rational number into decimal form by division method so as the denominator is 1 divide the numerator by the denominator so here numerator is 1 denominator is 13 as 1 less than 13 so put a decimal point it allows you to take a zero now place one more zero and it will allows you to take a zero now the number is 100 which is greater than 13 now 13 seven sar 91 so reminder is 80 13 six are seventy eight. Reminder two zero. Thirteen one are thirteen. Reminder seven zero. Thirteen five are sixty five. Reminder is five zero. So take thirteen three are thirty nine. Reminder is eleven zero. Thirteen eight are one out four. Reminder six zero. Again thirteen four are 52 reminder 8 0 that means again the repetition starts over from here so till here how many digits we got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so, so after eight digits the repetition started so for these eight digits we can represent a bar form so the periodicity period means which digit is repeating periodicity means how many digits are repeating so here if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 digits are repeating so you can choose answer as option d 8 so see the seventh question smallest four digit number which when divided by 12 18 21 and 28 leaves a remainder 3 in each case so in such questions we will go with option 2 question that means you have to check option wise so the first option is 1011 so you have to divide this 1011 by all these four numbers given in the question and in each case if it leaves a remainder 3 then you can choose the first option as the answer so let us do first division by 12 12 8 6 51 12 fours are 48 so the remainder is 3 so the first condition is satisfied for 12 now the second number is 18 18 fives are 90 remainder 11 the number becomes 1 11 18 6 are 108 so remainder is 3 so second number is also the condition satisfied the third number is 21 so 21 fours are 84 so do the subtraction and go with a remainder so 11 minus 4 it's 7 and 9 minus 8 it's 1 take down the next digit that is 171 now let us go with 8 times 21 eights are 168 so here also the remainder is 3 so for third number also the condition is satisfied now let us go with the fourth number 28 so divide 1011 by 28 and check whether it is leaving a remainder 3 or not 28 threes are 84 remainder is 17 take down the next digit 28 sixes are 168 remainder is 3 so you can choose the option as answer a and no need to check the other options so see the next question find a b such that A B C D into four equals to D C B A. That means a four digit number is multiplied by four. The answer is just reversing the digits. So in such cases of number system questions, just better to go with option two question. So see the first option. The first option is two one eight seven. As A B C D is a four digit number, according to the first option, A takes a value of two, B takes a value of one. C takes a value of eight and D takes a value of seven. So let us now multiply this four-digit number by four. So as you have to get the digits in reverse order. So four sevens are twenty-eight. So as D here is seven, but we got some other digit as A is two. So no need to check this option, but because the same digit A has to be reflected as in the units place. but if i go with the first option the unit digit is not reflecting in the place here so the case is ruled out 
Now go with the second option. The second option is like 8, 7, 1, 2. Like A, B, C, D. Now let us multiply by 4. 4 twos are 8. Yes, the same digit is repeating. 4 ones are 4. But you have to get the second digit here. But the second digit is not repeating. So this is also a ruled out option. And the third option, if I take the values of A, B, C, D, then the number becomes 1, 2, 7, 8 multiplied by 4. 4 8s are 32, where here the A is not reflecting. So this is also a ruled out case. So we left with one option, that is option D, which takes A as 2, B as 1, C as 7, D as 8. If you have doubt, you can check once the calculation. So the number becomes 2178 multiplied by 4. So as to get, the digits has to be reversed. That means I have to get 8712. So 4 8s are 32. Yes, 2 is repeated. 4 7s are 28 plus 3, 31. Yes, 1 is repeated. 4 1s are 4 plus 3 is 7, 4 twos are 8, yes the digits are reversed, so the answer is option D. Next, find the unit digit in this power expansion. The number is 47 raised to the power 45. The concept is called cyclicity concept, where you have to observe the unit digit and its cyclicity. Here, the unit digit is 7 and the cyclicity of 7 is 4. Cyclicity is nothing but after how many powers of that particular digit, the digits will repeat that is called cyclicity. If you observe the powers of 7, after every 4 powers of 7, the same unit digits will repeat. That's the reason we can conclude that cyclicity of 7 is 4. And the possible unit digits are like 7 power 1 which is 7, 7 square that is 49 ending with 9, 7 cube is nothing but 3 43 which is ending with 3 and 7 power 4 is nothing but 343 multiplied by 7 that is unit digit 1. So the possible repeating digits are 7, 9, 3, 1. As the cyclicity is 4 so divide the power by 4 and take its reminder. So if I divide 45 by 4 clearly 4 11s are 44 which takes a reminder 1. So if reminder is 1 then clearly it ends with 7. So you can choose option as B for this question. See the next question the unit digit of 27 raised to the power 27 plus 33 raised to the power 33. Again here also you have to make use of the concept of cyclicity. As there are two numbers in which the first number is ending with 7 and the second number is ending with 3. And the possible unit digits of 7 powers are 7, 9, 3, 1. And the possible unit digits in the powers of 3 are 3, 9, 7, 1. And Two digits are having cyclicity 4. That's the reason you have to divide the powers of the two digits by 4. So here the first number having a power of 27 divided by 4 and the second number is also having a power of 33 divided by 4. And take their reminders as 4, 6 are 24, reminder 3. Here also for 8s are 32, reminder 1, right? So here as the reminder is 3, you have to choose this particular number is ending with 3. Whereas here reminder is 1, so the second number power ends with 3. So 3 plus 3 that is 6, so the answer is option C.